everyone welcome to this long awaited at least for me <laughs> new let's play series that i have on my channel this is quinn davison and if you aren't familiar with her already i highly suggest that you go and watch her creative sim video that i uploaded about a week or two ago i can't remember how long ago i uploaded it but i go ahead and give the rundown of her entire story in that video and you can go ahead and see all of her outfits as well so that is super exciting the only thing that i have changed since then is her hair my g-shade unfortunately doesn't really have a good effect on alpha hair so i went ahead and changed her hairstyle to be maxis match and honestly i think this is really cute and it really suits her so in the create a video i went ahead and gave her story but i didn't necessarily give her personality her traits her skills her hobbies i didn't talk about any of that because i wanted to leave that up to this first video so that I can show you all of the things she does rather than just talk about it. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and just get right into this chapter one of Quinn's life. So, as you probably saw, she has this whole setup right here. Quinn's dream is to one day open her own business of all of her fashion designs and everything she's created she has been doing this for some time now she started when she moved out of the orphanage and into her aunt's pet house we will definitely be seeing her aunt's pet house sometime within this let's play i don't really know which chapter but oh by the way i am calling episodes chapters just because i like the feel of that more um, it's more dramatic, and I really want this to feel like a show that you would watch on the TV on Netflix or something. So, yeah, um, this is Quinn's little apartment, and basically she has recently moved out of her aunt's pet house and into her own apartment, and she wants to stay close by and make sure she keeps an eye on her aunt because... If you watched the creative sim video where I explain her story, she is quite skeptical of her aunt and she's not really sure if it really is her aunt or not. There's a lot to look into and all of that and that's exactly what we'll be doing in this Let's Play series. But yeah, this is the outside of her apartment building and perfect timing. I don't have the four rent pack as of right now, but once I do have access to the pack, I will go ahead and introduce you guys to her apartment roommates and well, not really roommates, but neighbors because there are two separate apartment buildings in this whole complex so i'll go ahead and show you guys how this little complex works so in the description i will go ahead and show you guys who built this because i want to give credit to them and a huge thanks because this is like the perfect building i am obsessed with this and it honestly cannot be better so first of all this is like what the outside looks like and guys, I'm warning you now, there is a lot to go over in this Let's Play, um, especially this opening episode or chapter, so just bear with me as I try to figure out how to tell you guys everything, but yeah, this is the outside, and we do have access to see the two other buildings, and basically this wall down the middle separates them. And then there's a wall right here that separates them. So as you can see, they're kind of like color coded. Like this right here is Quinn's. This is her neighbor's. And then this is another neighbor. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, but yeah, we will be meeting them in the next chapter. Um, right now, we have a lot to focus on for Quinn herself. So 
yeah um just as of right now this is what they look like i did change the decorations in quinn's apartment but the other two i really just left them alone so yeah big credit to the creator of this build and quinn is sleeping in this bed i i don't know why guys i'm gonna have to like lock the door so we make sure she doesn't go in there but yeah this so this is like i said the one apartment and they're very nice as you can see um quinn she you know she hasn't had the greatest life living in an orphanage and now she has this whole apartment by herself she has had so many different stages in her life like how do you go from living into an orphanage to living here like this is not what she expected her life to end up looking like in her early adult life um, she she didn't even know if she would be able to live her early adult life because her life had been so tragic in her early years and basically her aunt helped her get to this point and she feels very lucky to have this lifestyle so she is getting help but she also has worked very hard working multiple jobs through high school and as a, t a teenager and young adult to be able to afford this place and become independent. So yeah, like I said, her aunt has definitely helped her a lot. So it's not like super unrealistic that she has this place, but she definitely has the smallest apartment. This is where her door is, okay? So she has this little doorway and then I'll go ahead and give a tour so you guys can better understand the building. So this is what it looks like when you walk in. I did decorate her apartment, like I said, but not the other ones. So yeah, this is what it looks like. She kind of likes things to be simplistic, like she likes a certain color scheme. Um, and... I do like that all of the apartments are a bit different from each other, like they have different color schemes while still being like neutral in a way. So yeah, here's an overview of her first floor and then we can just go over here and I will show you guys upstairs. She has this little area as well and I'm like all over the place, oh my gosh. But this is where she sleeps. Um, she is trying to be as independent as she can so she doesn't have like that much furniture or anything but she does have an abundance of clothes because she likes fashion and she makes clothes um so that is one thing she has a lot of and then this is her little bathroom i didn't really change the bathroom um i just decorated it a little bit and i need to fix that brush but yeah so this is her little apartment and I'm so excited to play like this. I've never really played a household like this. It's definitely very unique for me. And another cool thing is that there is a ground level floor where there's all kinds of different things. So underneath Quinn's apartment, we have this little office building. Um, who knows? Maybe she'll work in there one day. She'll have meetings or something. But we also have this little store that is very simplistic and just opened i would imagine um i redecorated this as well because honestly i didn't download the cc for it um somehow i guess i forgot to download it so i ended up just putting some things in here really quick um so don't mind that it's not like super nicely decorated but what i'm most excited for is this little cafe this is what it looks like, and Quinn spends a lot of her time in this little cafe just reading or meeting people such as her aunt. She doesn't have too many friends as of right now, but yeah, this is, it's so cute, you guys. Like, I cannot get over this build. Everything about it is so perfect, and I'm so excited to play in that little cafe, but yeah, so this is her building. And I have plenty of other buildings I downloaded that I will definitely credit the creators to and we'll probably see them throughout this 
series, but here is the next one, and this is where Quinn does dance lessons. So, she's not, like, super into dance or anything, but this building caught her eye when she moved in, um, let's say, like, a couple months ago, okay? And she decided that she might as well just take some lessons, and she's been really enjoying it. It's just something to take her mind off things, and it's just another hobby that she likes to do. So we will be coming here a lot, um, and I'm not, I don't know how often I would say she does this, but it's pretty often, you guys. So yeah, we'll definitely see her there a lot. But let's go ahead and get into the apartment. Unfortunately, we don't have this upper balcony that is the second apartments, um, but hopefully we can make friends with the people living there and we will hopefully be able to spend some time up there because it is super beautiful. But yeah, as you saw in the little intro that I made, Quinn was working on this pink fedora. I think it is absolutely adorable and hopefully she can sell it for some good money. So we should definitely go ahead and set up our Plopsy shop. She hasn't quite gotten to that point in her little shop yet. She wants to start off of Plopsy and then make it big as she grows and hopefully one day open her own shop. That's kind of her goal. She wants to be super successful like her parents were, um, just in a different way. So her parents were representatives and they made so much money and they were very, yeah, just very successful overall. And Quinn had a life similar to this. Like she had the ideal like city life experience where she lived in a really fancy apartment um, with like multiple levels and it was like a high-rise building it was so cool um, but obviously her parents died and that was taken from her but she has kind of been coming back to this point in her life where she is living the dream city life once again just this time she is on her own and she is an adult herself um, I definitely think we should Instagram this but yeah, it's really interesting to see how she has grown and to the point she has gotten through everything she has gone through. Like, it's really crazy that she has made it this far, but she definitely has to thank her aunt for that because without her aunt, she wouldn't have gotten here. Now, the only thing is she has been skeptical of her aunts because she just doesn't know how it could be possible that she would have an aunt. Like, her parents never talked about anybody else in their family. They always said it was just the three of them. Like, all of her other relatives have either passed on or they, like, live literally nowhere near here. And they never mentioned having siblings. So, it's, like, very odd to her that out of nowhere, she found out that she had an aunt, let alone the aunt ended up saving her from the orphanage. Like, it just doesn't add up. And she is definitely going to probably hire a lawyer and do some research on her aunts. So, let's see. These were her old neighbors. She doesn't really have any sort of relationship with them um but these are her parents Lawrence and Rosa and then this is her aunt Lydia so we will probably call her up eventually and we will get to know her because obviously um by we by the way I mean like you guys like the viewers because obviously um, Quinn does know her aunt. She lived with her throughout her high school years and, well, a little bit of middle school as well. So, she knows her aunt, but we need to get to know her and see what this funny business that Quinn is talking about is all about. So, 
there we go it's just made some avocado toast that looks amazing i just had avocado toast actually <laughs> but yeah so we'll probably call her up for dinner tonight um but in the meantime we're going to have some toast and then i think we're gonna go to the dance studio and we'll see a little bit of what that part of quinn's life looks like and then yeah we'll go out to dinner and that will be the first day um she definitely has a lot on her plate right now like not literally <laughs> um but she is you know trying to become an entrepreneur she's trying to figure out if she wants to go back to school she's trying to figure out if her aunt is really related to her or not and she doesn't even know how her parents died like she literally has no clue no one told her she was just put in an orphanage at like four years old so she really wants to figure this out because she it is bothering her that she doesn't really know anything about her parents other than the work that they did and quite honestly she doesn't even know if that's true um so we're gonna have to do a lot of deep diving into Quinn's past life and her relatives lives so Quinn is definitely in the dancing mood so let's go ahead and get upstairs to change our outfits and then we can head on over to the dance studio so yes i have a little ballet outfit for her all right you guys we are here at the dance studio so there are two different studios and this side is more for like hip-hop and jazz um there are little ballet bars in here just in case but yes we can just do hip-hop and jazz in there and then on this side this is more for like the classical ballet so we're gonna go on this side today because she is feeling that she wants to do more ballet so we'll go ahead and train ballet and then i'm going to turn on some classical music and let's go ahead and just see how she does She is so happy right now. She loves dance so much. I think she is really open to trying all kinds of new things and she never really got to experience that in her childhood. And she's still very young, so she kind of wants to try whatever she can while she is able to. As soon as she's done dancing, we will probably go back to her apartment and take a shower and then maybe grab a little bite to eat. We'll see how hungry she is, but she might want to go out somewhere new today. I'm not really sure yet, but we'll find something to do in the meantime um, between right now and her going to dinner with her aunts. By the way, her aunt is a really busy woman. She doesn't quite understand what her aunt does. She has tried asking before and her aunt just says she has to travel a lot and she just works for a business. So hopefully our aunt isn't busy tonight. So it is about 7.30 p.m. here and instead of going to a restaurant to eat dinner, Quinn and her aunt decided to go to this new brewery that opened and they just want to check it out and have some drinks. So that's what they're going to do. They're just going to sit and chat. Honestly, I think we could just grab a little table out here or let me look around actually because I'm not really sure. Maybe we could go up here because that is kind of a cool area all right so they both ordered some wine and they're just kind of chit-chatting 
gossiping you know they haven't seen each other in a couple months basically since quinn moved out because as soon as quinn moved into her apartment and moved out of her aunt's penthouse her aunt had a little business trip so she just actually got back and you know they're just discussing how life has been for each of them um over some wine and quinn might try to you know, get some details from her life, but it looks like she's just ignoring her and going on her phone. So Quinn's like, you know what, excuse me, I need to use the restroom. So I'm going to have her um, wash her hands and then just freshen up. And then she is going to go back to her aunt and continue to try to get some information from her. So her aunt is actually being quite weird and she's like, sorry, I need to get home, go to bed, I'm really exhausted. And Quinn is just like awkwardly like laughing. She doesn't really know how to react to that. Her aunt didn't even drink the wine that they bought, so that's very suspicious, but I think Quinn is pretty much done for the night. She's getting kind of tired, so she's going to go ahead and head home. I feel like Quinn is probably leaving a bit confused tonight, but she knows that she is on a mission to find someone to help her get the secrets out of her aunt. <laughs> All right, we are back at Quinn's apartment, and she's going to go ahead and just brush her teeth and wash her face and just get ready for bed, basically, and then we will see what tomorrow holds for her. is the next day and Quinn is just doing a nice little workout to start her day and she is going to actually use the room downstairs um right under her apartment to go ahead and do some research and see if there are any lawyers for not a very expensive price um, that she can potentially meet up with uh, very soon and let's just hope that she is successful in that. Um, she was told after renting this place that she could use that office downstairs as long as there aren't any meetings going on. It's kind of just like a community area with computers, kind of like a library but um, if there are any meetings, then she cannot be in there. So yeah, after she's done with this, she's going to go ahead and do some research. So Quinn has just been researching away and she is getting kind of successful in her research and she actually found someone that she's going to contact right now and let's just hope that this lawyer responds to her in the meantime she's probably going to get ready for the day so quinn is heading up to her apartment and she actually just ran into her neighbor this is her next door neighbor uh claire so claire is an older adult she does have a child she has one daughter but her daughter has moved away and Claire has just been living here ever since um, but Quinn definitely would like to get to know her neighbor better because she feels like they're very similar like she is so chic and into fashion and Quinn would definitely likes to get to know her and she feels like she could actually learn a lot from her so yeah let's go ahead and just say a few things and then we'll go ahead and wave to her oh i guess she uh just got ready for the day okay well let's at least go upstairs to brush our teeth 
and then we'll see it from there. Let's brush our teeth and yeah. Yeah, I knew they would get along. They're just like hitting it off right now. So Claire lives in this apartment like right next door. And by the way, you guys, I think in the beginning of this episode, I said that I was waiting for uh, the four rent pack to introduce everyone, which I still kind of want to wait to um, for the next episode to introduce everyone um, because we want to focus on Quinn for this first chapter. But I did actually get the four rent pack. So, yeah, we do have the neighbors in here, and we can't, like, really see inside right now, um, and I do like that a lot. It makes it seem, like, less crowded and everything. So, yeah, um, Quinn actually just got an email notification, so she's gonna check her phone. So, she actually got a email from the lawyer that she contacted, and she said that she can meet up today at 1 p.m., so they're just going to meet up for coffee here in Quinn's apartment complex, and also, um, you guys, okay, uh, Miss Landgrab is our landlord, she's holding a Joy-Con, <laughs> I think she's not okay right now but she is our landlord because she owns like pretty much the whole city so she is here for some reason and we're going to invite her in and also this is so embarrassing we have avocado toast on the floor she's like hi miss landlord um how can i help you okay i wonder what she is doing here um in our bathroom like, why are you here? <laughs> We're just gonna go chat with her and see what she has to say. And apparently we don't even know her, so we're gonna do that as well. And I would like to change her outfit, um, but I'm just gonna leave it alone. <laughs> Quinn, like, doesn't even know how to act right now. <laughs> Let's, uh, compliment rental conditions because we love our apartment and we don't want to ever be on our landlord's bad side <laughs> ask to inspect i don't think that's necessary but guys it's almost 1 p.m so we need to head downstairs to meet our lawyer all right so our lawyer is here and they're just going to chat a little bit and see kind of what quinn wants um why she needs a lawyer and if this makes sense and everything so they're going to just chat and see how this goes So basically, the lawyer has informed Quinn that she can indeed help her with this situation, but she's going to have to look into hiring an investigator as well to help them, and they're going to have to become a team. So Quinn is kind of just like shocked that she has someone that can actually help her this quickly, and she's definitely going to thank her and by the way this sim is dina so <laughs> we'll definitely have to thank dina and just invite her over probably very soon to go over details and maybe dina can help us find an investigator but yeah this has been a very productive chat and quinn feels a little bit less stressed after this all right, let's go ahead and order a drink. Um, we'll just do one to go because I don't think she really just wants to sit here all day. Let's do a cappuccino. And yeah, it was very nice to meet you, Dina. We will definitely be in touch and seeing each other soon. So, oh my gosh, I just realized our neighbor is back here. 
I feel like she's just like always here as well because I mean let's be honest if there was a um cafe in my apartment I would be here all the time as well so (laughs) let's see did we order a drink or I'm not sure that we did so it's okay let's just order another one and then I think I'll have her work on making a new piece of clothing or something and seeing how her Palopsy shop is going. We also need to make something for lunch or find something for lunch, so that should probably be next on the list. But now that we have our coffee, oh my gosh, she just wants to stay here and talk to Dina. (laughs) All right, well, Quinn, it is time to get back home and let's actually let's make something for lunch let's make let's see let's do a sandwich um sandwich with vegetables sounds amazing so yeah go make that all right i guess quinn decided to come over here to eat um, she just really likes this little cafe, and it looks like they're actually closing right now, so, oh wait, there's a new barista coming in, um, anyways, <laughs> I think we should go up here, and let's see, let's, <laughs> okay, these are some interesting options, but let's do a trench coat design. Quinn is actually getting pretty tired as well, so probably after we draw this design, she will head to bed. This looks super cute though. All right, it is currently 5.30 a.m. All right, Quinn is just going to have some eggs and toast for breakfast this morning. I think I might have her finish working on the trench coat this morning. Um, so I guess she'll shower and then and then we'll change an outfit to we'll do this one today. Quinn is just going to work on the trench coat that she made as a, a design for. Oh gosh, it says oh no, looks like something went wrong and you failed at your sewing project. It's okay, we all mess up sometimes and go through fabric in the process. Practice makes losing fabric a myth. (laughs) Okay, so, I don't know. I bet Quinn just has, like, a lot on her mind right now. So, she is probably having a hard time focusing on sewing. Okay, she's trying to do it again. So, hopefully, this time it goes better. Um, And I'm excited to see the finished product. We need to simstagram it and we should also sim talk it and honestly let's just like do that for all of 1,500 people are following you in social media. You are growing. That is amazing. We should try to sell them on Plopsy. Oh, this is unsuccessful. Looks like no one is interested in buying your clothing. Maybe you should try to gain more recognition in social media. And the property owner is here. Oh, once again. Why is she always here, though? Hey, Quinn. Ignacia Robles has asked me out on a date. Should I say yes? You should think about it for yourself. Um, so I think Quinn is going to actually visit the graveyard today because she is just not in a good headspace right now, and I think a visit to her parents' graves would maybe help her, and, you know, she could just talk to them a little bit. So we're here at the little graveyard, and we're going to go mourn her parents and I don't know hopefully this will just help her a little bit even though it's very sad I feel so bad for her oh my gosh 
I definitely think she should do something fun after this. So Quinn has just arrived at this little thrift store that she likes to go to sometimes. So she's going to head on inside and just see if there's anything cool that is worth getting. So she's not really finding anything today that is really interesting her. But she is glad to do some retail therapy. Um, this is just one of the places that she likes to go often. So I think Quinn kind of just needed a rest day and a day to just kind of think about everything because she's almost worried that she doesn't even want to know the truth behind her family and what really happened like she knows deep down that she needs to find out but she also is just worried that it's gonna be too much for her to handle so it's a quite hard time for her Quinn keeps checking her emails to see if any private investigators that she reached out to have reached back out to her or if she's heard anything from her lawyer but nothing yet unfortunately so i do think we will end the, this chapter off here um we kind of went over a lot in this chapter and i don't want to make these too long um so yeah i really hope you guys like this little story i'm not really sure how many chapters i'm going to make we're kind of just gonna go with the flow and whatever feels right we will do but i would love to hear your guys's feedback on this little let's play series that i've created and yeah your comments are always appreciated so it would mean a lot if you could leave some feedback but with all that being said, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys.